All right, I have downsized my box and we're gonna grab some more of these coin shop roll pennies and hunt through them. Hopefully find some good stuff. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. Nope. And I'm going to take four of these rolls. There's four random of these rolls. And we're going to add these to my 2K giveaway. So do go enter that if you'd like a chance to win some of these rolls. All right, so I've picked out 10 rolls. We'll start out with 10, and if uh, there's no fines, maybe I'll throw some extras in here. But uh, just do two at a time this time. Um, if you haven't seen, I sent a few of these off to a few other YouTube channels, so do go check those out. Um, I do have some links in my community section to those, so do go check that out. Um, but let's get into these and see what we got. Um, and if you go check out those other channels, see what they found in theirs. Um, some, some fun and interesting stuff, and hopefully we find some good stuff in here. These full rolls are just nice. And just all around nice. Oh. I had to run away. Okay, I went and grabbed the runaway coin there. Let's take a look at this. Um, 1960. With a little bit of an interesting color on it. Um, this one is a Denver. Nice. Do have some nicer looking, uh, they're not like perfect, but we do have a few decent looking ones. So definitely have to check those for anything going on there. Got a 99, we'll check that for the wide AM. And it looks normal, looks like the, how it's supposed to look. All right, so we got a few things to look for in that roll. Nothing really saying, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me. Got some nice stuff in there. I didn't see any weedies, but there could always be a weedie somewhere hiding. Let's crack the next roll and see what's in here. All right, all right, all right. Looks like another standard roll. There's a pretty nice 1959. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Uh, probably uncirculated. 59 there. We'll check that for doubling. And let's see, just a quick look. Nothing else really standing out in here. Um, there's some fun things to look for, so let's uh, let's see if there's any airs of varieties on any of these, and I will let you know what I find here in just a second. Well, no real finds in those. Only the one 1959 that I'm holding on to for now. Let's crack two more rolls. See what we got inside of these. Let's see. You got some brown scents in this one. Uh, yep. Let's pour this. Oh, we do have a weedy. Do have two weedies. I see two weed scents. One's right here. And one is right there. So this roll has at least two weed scents. Let's zoom in and take a good look at 1946. Nice. Let's grab this one out. Let's grab this one out and see what we got going on here. 1957. Looks like there's something going on right there under the 57. That's probably a little lamination that's still attached. Very cool. Very cool. That might be a little bit of a delamination there. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to take a good look at that. Well, we had two in here. Let's see what else is in here. We have a third. We have a third. 1951. 1951 Weedy. Nice. Nice, we got a pretty nice 1972 there, 91. So we're gonna check those for some airs of varieties. Let me zoom out a little bit. I think I'm in a little too tight for you to see what's going on. Let's see, there's another nicer, ah, the front's a little bit dingy. 
1970, 1971. This one has a nice uh, kind of a darker look to it. 71, maybe I'll check that for the double die obverse. You probably would have saw it on the obverse there looking at it. Oh, just off camera. I did not zoom out enough. 1945, that's four wheat cents in this roll. Okay, let's zoom back out just a little bit there. And that is it for the wheat cents that I see. I could be wrong, I might miss some, but it's four wheat cents in that roll. Very cool. Let's see what is in this roll. Let's see what we got. Oh, looks like I might have a roll of 1963 out of Denver. That's what it looks like. Oof, one of them is tore up. Someone killed that 1963 out of Denver. Come on, zoom in. There we go. 1963 out of Denver, and someone took a bite out of that almost. Probably took some pliers or something and tried to cut into it. Oof. There's another one over here that I noticed was all kind of beat up and scratched up. Someone beat up some of these 1963s. Another one looks like someone might have. Someone was not happy with these. There's another one that's a little beat up. Oof. These are some, otherwise would be some nice BU. 1963s. Oh, there's a 62 in here. Mostly 63s, but it looks like there is a 62 sneaking in right here. So on here, you can find an uh, 1963. That one has had damage in as well. So on these 1963s, you can find in the three here is the best place to look. You can find a double die in there, and there's some doubling you can find over here on the Liberty. So that'll be interesting to go through. Unfortunately, they're not all damage free. I've got several that have damage on them. Um, that one's got a bit of a tone, dirty obverse. That one might have been the roll ender. Um, but I'll, I'll flip through these and see if there's anything in here, any really nice ones I'll probably hold on to. But some of these that are a bit dirty and damaged, I am going to get rid of. Okay, well, let's see. Let's look through these two rolls and see what we got. Yeah, I wish I could say there was anything else in those rolls. We did get four wheat. And I do have some 1963 Denver's. I'm probably I'm going to go through and probably keep some of these, you know, all of them. And do have some damaged ones over here, unfortunately. But, eh, it's gonna happen sometimes you're gonna find some damaged coins so let's uh let me get these out of the way and then we'll crack into two more rolls all right let's crack two more rolls here see what we can get into see if we can get into some nice stuff and there's a 2009 on the end of this one nice. let's see so this is a roll of newer 2009 shield sets and stuff and what have you or is this something another mixed roll let's see there we go yep there's a shield set on the other side yeah well it does look like a mixed roll but it does look like it gets a bunch of I do see a bunch of 2009s in here so that would be interesting to go through I'm gonna check for extra fingers on the Lincoln Lincoln on the log um, so we got some of those. It's a Lincoln Log Cabin. That's a pretty nice 1987 there. I'm just going to go ahead and just toss that up here at the top. I'm probably going to save that one. Get some dirty old stuff. There's another 2009. It's another Lincoln Log Cabin. Some 60s in here. Some brown scents. Another 2009. 
Yeah, it looks like a lot of 2009s and then some other coins just kind of mixed in with it. It's a decent 79 there. So it's like some, you know, all these over here are 2009s. Looks like. All right, so that'll be fun to sort through and see what all those are and check for any um, any varieties on those. Let's go ahead and check this roll out. See what's in this one. And uh, hopefully, this will be another fun roll to go through. And looks like it just a uh, standard mixture. Ooh, there's a nice tone going over here. Looks like it might uh, might have some album album toning, but let's take a look. There's a 1970 out of Denver. It's decent. Um, just kind of quickly glancing through this one. Uh, I don't know about this one being an album toner or not. It has kind of a little bit of a look to it. But then it, it, because it's all splotchy like that, that could very easily be, um, yeah, based on the, how the surfaces look, I'm going to say this is like an artificial, something got on this, um, is what it looks like, some kind of chemical got on this and reacted with the surface, so I'm going to go with not, uh, natural toning on that one, it looks cool, but it's not natural, well, not in my opinion, it's not. Just the splotchiness of it just looks like it's gotten something on it. All right, I'm not seeing anything else stand out here. No wheat scents, so I got some 2009s and some other cool things to look through. Let me get through these and I'll get them sorted. I'll let you know if there's any finds here in just a second. Okay, and those rolls had a stack of the 2009s. That's the tallest stack right there. Um... So I'll probably put those in a tube to hold on to those because they are nicer. Um, and I have been holding on to the nicer 2009s. But let me just slide these over here out of the way. And let's go ahead and crack two more rolls here. And then uh, I'll put those in a tube and go through these. So let's do that right now. All right. What is in here? What is in here? Well, there should be 50 pennies in here, but <laughs> hopefully they're fun pennies, good pennies. It's always fun to look, look through coins. You never know what you're gonna find. If you don't look, you're not gonna find anything. So if I'm looking and I'm not finding anything, at least I'm looking, maybe I'll hit that, hit that good stuff here. Let's take a quick look here. Not seeing any wheats. Nothing super standing out here. Um, that's a pretty nice 1959. So I'll check that. You find some doubling on the date on that. So I'm going to check that one out. And now we'll check some of these out. Oh, oh, right here, right here. We got a wheat set. Got a wheat set. 1951 out of Denver. Nice. Oh, cool. We did have a wheat sin in here. Uh, that's the only one I'm seeing there, so maybe there's another one. If there is, I will let you know. Nothing super standing out other than that wheat set. Um, looks like a fairly circulated roll with maybe some couple of nicer scents. We got a pretty brown 1984 on the end of this roll, and 2012. All right, looks like uh, another circulated roll. There's a 2000. We'll take that for the wide AM there. Um, got some shield scents in here. And if any of those are decent, I'll hold on to them. Ooh, that was not a good one. This roll looks like it's a pretty circulated roll. So, um, but we'll check these for Air's varieties. And I'll let you know if I do come across any wheat scents that I missed. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we got two more rolls left. And then I may crack a few more rolls if we don't have any 
anything really cool, uh, any real cool finds. That's going to happen sometimes. Sometimes you're just going to look through scents and they're all just going to be regular scents. And sometimes you're going to find some awesome finds. All right, well, we'll be right back. All right, nothing really in those rolls either. So let's crack into two more rolls here and see what we find. Let's see. Looks like another circulated roll. Got some really awesome finds in the top of the box, and hopefully there's some left over in the bottom of the box when I picked up all these coin rolls. But, I mean, I'm... Happy I got the finds in the top of the box. So hopefully um, we do see a couple more finds towards the bottom of the box here in these rolls that were at the bottom. There's a 59. Um, yeah, just quickly flipping through these. Nothing really standing out there. Nineteen fifty-five's got a big old fingerprint on the front. That's a decent nineteen ninety-six out of Denver. We will put that up there in our stack to check against the album. Um, and I'm using these for my personal album. Uh, the albums I have in the Penny Hunts Hunt Fill series are I'm using uh, just the rolls I get from the bank for those. So. That's why I'm not using these for the those albums. Ooh, that's a nice shiny one on that side. That is a really nice shiny one on that side. We'll push out the other side and this brown circulated scent here. Ooh, this one is like a mix. It's got some nice shiny stuff in here. That is a decent 2009. We'll add that to the 2009 stacks. There's a pretty nice 1962 out of Denver. It's a little surface dirt on it. But let's see. There's a pretty nice 95. We'll check that for the double die. I can't see it from here, but it's possible I'm missing it. Ooh, that is a shiny 1966. Not perfect surfaces, but whew, that's pretty nice. It was a 9071S. Uh, that one, oh, uh, it doesn't quite look like a proof, but it's possible it could be a proof. Um, I don't think it is. There's a pretty decent 61 out of Denver. Ah, this one would be a really nice 1980 out of Denver if it didn't have all that surface discoloration on it. Let's zoom in just a little bit, and we'll just give it a good look here. Here's another nice reverse, and a pretty nice 1984 offers. We'll be checking that for the double ear. I'm not seeing it in the camera, though. Let's slide some of this out of the way so we can uh, get a good look at the stuff on the camera. 63, a couple of dirty ones. 88, pretty nice 67, decent 91. There's a pretty nice 88, does have some surface dirt on it. 72 out of Denver. Let's push all these over. This is the side that was nice. And the ender is a 2000, so we will check that for the wide AM. And it looks like it is normal in the camera, but now yeah, we'll be double checking that. 1968S, 98 out of Denver, some surface spots on it. 1969 out of San Francisco. I am not seeing the double die on this one, but it is a pretty nice shape, if you ask me. 91, that's pretty nice, does have a fingerprint on it. 73S, a little bit of surface dirt on it. Pretty nice 2003. And I'm 
trying to be extra careful with these nicer ones. Oh, 1969 S. Uh, Denver. Let's see. Because this one is in such red shape. This one does have the initials, the designer initials there, FG. Um, 1999, 83, 99, 87. Hopefully I wasn't zoomed in too much to see everything, but we do have some nice ones there, and I'll probably hold on to quite a few of these for the, just for nicer coins. But yeah, let me go through these and see what's in here. And maybe I'll grab two more rolls. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Let's find out. Let's find out what's in here and what happens next. Okay, so no real finds there. Not those last few rolls outside some nice uh, coins there. So I got some really nice pennies. I'm going to check against the album here. And uh, probably hold on to most of these in some tubes. Um, but that is roughly about it for the finds and the hunt. We did have five wheat cents, so that's cool. Um... So we'll check the albums. Um, I, I decided to end here. I counted up what I have left. I have uh, enough for four more penny hunts. So I figured I would hold on to those for the penny hunts. Um, I'm trying to get some more uh, coin boxes from the bank. I've been having a little bit of trouble with uh, getting some coin boxes lately. And so these uh, these rolls from the coin shop has been very helpful. And I did pick up some a lot of nickels and a few other rolls from the coin shop as well recently so do stay tuned for those we'll be doing those as well soon um all right well i do hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the thumbs up helps me out drop a comment down below let me know what you thought and thank you very much for watching everyone have a great day first up we have a 1962 out of denver well not perfect it i think it is better than the one that's in here the one that's in there has a few little surface spots on it all over so I'm going to uh, just switch it out for this one. These little dark spots on the edges, I believe, is a little bit of uh, grease that got stuck on the coin in the minting process. Um, but it is uh, just a tiny little bit. Uh, when I was looking at it, I think that's what it is. But I'm going to switch it out, and that's the first coin. And we got this 1961 out of Denver. I missed putting this here. Um, just a slightly better more more uncirculated uh shinier nicer scent there we will upgrade that one and then we got this 1966 just a uh, all-around better uh surface quality coin there i'm gonna s upgrade that one and we got this 1969 it looks like the surface is just a little bit better than this one here it's 1969 out of san francisco well not perfect it is going to be a slight upgrade, so I'm going to switch that one out as well. The last coin I have here is a 2004. Well, this, the new coin has a little bit of a surface discoloration on the obverse in front of Lincoln's face. I do think that the quality is a little bit better than the one that's in here, so I think we're going to upgrade this one as well, as I don't come across a lot of nicer Denver 2000 to present coins in any of my hunts so that's going to be the final upgrade of the hunt here and a very special thank you to my channel members thank you very much to everyone who is supporting the channel going above and beyond link below if you're interested in checking out the rewards you get for signing up thank you very much